there's a fish, there's a rat tail, there's a rat tail down there, beautiful little scavenger. Very typical of the deep sea. Now rat tail is the rude name, the, the nicer name is grenadier fish. It's a scavenger, it's designed to wait for food that might drop down from the surface. Those massive nasal um, pits it has in front of its eyes are used for tasting the taste of rotting flesh. And it can search out carcasses of dead fish from a long distance. That, that is really nice. That's a chimera, a rabbit fish, beautiful deep sea fish. That is lovely. You can see its shadow. There's a perfect shadow on the sand beneath it. It's a lit up by the light here. Such an elegant fish, wonderful fins. Just manoeuvring here, you can just see it shadow just down there on the sand, it's lovely. There it goes, there it goes. It's obviously been frightened by the sun. That is very nice. This is wonderful, there's great pillows of lava here. This rock is, geologically speaking, is very, very, very fresh. It's straight out of the ocean. Although there's a fish. <laughs> that is exquisite, actually. It's got a lovely sinusoidal movement of its tail. Really beautiful movement. Now, that is all about preserving energy. Because if you live down here, you don't get much food. And all the fish that live on the sea floor are designed to minimise the amount of energy they use. extraordinary flaps of skin that make them look like the Disney elephant character. They use those flaps to manoeuvre through the water. Dumbo octopuses are deep sea specialists. You only find them right down here. And their tentacles, between their tentacles, they've got these lovely flaps of skin that form a great sort of umbrella which they can use to hover above the seafloor. It's very energy preserving. Goes. That is that is lovely. Swimming off now. Oh, there goes awesome. that number. 